Today we gather not just to reflect on the troubled life of Richard Pryor. As we pay tribute to his immense talent and groundbreaking contributions to comedy, it's important to acknowledge the struggles and hardships he faced along the way. The reason for this is because, sometimes we forget that our heroes may be going through things, but we never see it until they leave. We laud their genius without ever understanding and empathizing with them. The goal of this video is to help us all appreciate the ones we love, from family and friends, to celebrities. Back to it. Richard's life was marked by adversity from the very beginning. Born into poverty in Peoria, Illinois, he was raised in a brothel by his grandmother, where he was exposed to a world of vice and violence at a young age. These early experiences left a deep imprint on Richard, shaping the course of his life and influencing much of his later work. As he navigated the challenges of his upbringing, Richard turned to humor as a coping mechanism, using laughter to escape from the harsh realities of his surroundings. Yet, beneath the surface of his quick wit and infectious charm, there lay a profound sense of pain and turmoil that would continue to haunt him throughout his life. Richard's struggles with addiction and substance abuse are well documented, and they took a heavy toll on both his personal and professional life. Despite achieving immense success and acclaim as a comedian, his demons continued to plague him, leading to numerous legal troubles, failed marriages, and health issues. In fact, at some point in the 70s, Pryor found himself entangled in a headline-grabbing incident at his Los Angeles home after a New Year's Eve party. In a bizarre turn of events, he fired his gun at a car containing his wife and her friends, leaving the vehicle riddled with bullet holes. Miraculously, no one was injured, but the incident prompted legal action and a court-ordered mandate for therapy. It was during this period of introspection that Pryor began to delve into his past, grappling with his troubled childhood and using his experiences as fodder for his comedy. The profound, moving, and often complicated material on the Wanted, live and concert album emerged from Pryor's newfound introspection. Drawing from his own life experiences, Pryor transformed tragedy into comedy, using humor as a coping mechanism to navigate the darkest corners of his psyche. His ability to find laughter in the face of adversity was nothing short of extraordinary, a testament to his resilience and his unwavering commitment to his craft. However, Pryor's problems with substance abuse worsened the next year. In June 1980, after using a lot of cocaine for days, he set himself on fire on purpose. At first, people thought it was an accident, but Pryor later said in his book that he did it while he was high. This left Pryor with severe burns on more than half of his body. Even in the midst of his pain, Pryor managed to find humor in his situation, remarking, you know something I noticed? When you run down the street on fire, people will move out of your way. But through it all, Richard never lost his ability to find humor in even the darkest of moments. He used his own pain and suffering as fodder for his comedy, turning his struggles into material that resonated with audiences around the world. In doing so, he not only found catharsis for himself but also helped to destigmatize mental illness and addiction, sparking important conversations about these often taboo topics. Richard's legacy is complex, but it is also deeply profound. He was a pioneer who pushed the boundaries of comedy and challenged societal norms with his unflinching honesty and raw vulnerability. His ability to find humor in the face of adversity was nothing short of remarkable, and it served as a source of inspiration for countless comedians who followed in his footsteps. As we bid farewell to Richard today, let us not only remember him for his laughter and his wit but also for his courage and resilience in the face of unimaginable hardship. His troubled life may have been fraught with pain and suffering, but it was also filled with moments of joy, laughter, and profound insight that touched the lives of millions. Richard may be gone, but his legacy will live on forever in the hearts of all those who were fortunate enough to be touched by his genius. Let us honor his memory by continuing to laugh, to love, and to find strength in the face of adversity just as he did throughout his remarkable life.